Bluff Gaming here with a quick review of speed sails and ship weight and how they affect the speed of your ships. The bottom line is that it's always better to take a large sail rather than two medium sails and it's always better to take a medium sail rather than two small sails. Also, the more your ship weighs, the slower it goes. And while that may not sound like much of a surprise, there is no lower threshold for when this kicks in. A ship carrying 15% of its weight capacity will be faster than an identical ship carrying 20%. It doesn't kick in at some magical point like 50% or anything like that. Additional ship weight will slow your ship down until you get to 100% ship weight at which point the ship does not move. I tested this by running multiple ship configurations over the same course, all the while using admin controls to make sure the wind direction and wind speed was the same for each test. Additionally, when comparing sail sizes, I ensured that the weight of each ship was the same. I started by testing a sloop, first with two small speed sails, and then with one medium speed sail. This test showed that the one medium speed sail is about 15% faster than two small speed sails. Next, I moved to a schooner, and I compared two medium sails to one large sail. This showed that a large speed sail is roughly 10% faster than two medium speed sails. Given that any sail size requires less than twice the sail units as the smaller size, this means that for performance, you should always choose the largest speed sail possible. This of course says nothing about handling sails or weight sails, which I will be covering in a later video. The implications of this are that the fastest sail configurations for each ship are for a sloop, one medium speed sail. For a schooner, one large speed sail and one small speed sail. For a brigantine, three large speed sails. And for a galleon, six large speed sails. However, at very high weights, a weight sail will increase your speed more, but we'll cover this in a separate video specifically about weight sails. Finally, in this video, we test, of course, which ships are the fastest. Each ship is tested with the fastest sail configuration and at 20% weight as well as 50% weight. Changing their weight did not affect how they ranked against one another. And tied for the fastest ships in Atlas are the schooner and the galleon. Very close behind them, we have the brigantine, and then the slowest by surprisingly large margin is the sloop. That's your bottom line up front. If you'd like to see more detail on the results or about how I've performed these tests, just stick around for the rest of the video. Thanks for sticking around. First off, let's look at how we determine that weight slows your ship gradually as you add more weight rather than at any predetermined threshold such as 50% or 75% as I've heard suggested by several people in game and out. As you can see, this sloop is at 20% of its maximum weight. I've also faced the sloop directly north and set its sail direction to zero. You should see me accessing admin commands all throughout this video. I'll primarily be using set wind and set dir for set direction. Set wind controls wind speed, which I'll be setting to 8, and set dir will be set to 90, which in the game faces north. When a test ship first reaches this first claim flag, I will begin a counter that you'll see in the bottom right corner. Farther north, I have a set of three claim flags that will be used as a sort of finish line, and it's at that point where I will stop the timer. For this first test, I'll go ahead and let the ship run the entire course with no cuts, so you can see how long of a test we're doing. To save everyone time, however, in future tests, I'll likely cut these and make it obvious whenever a cut is made. After setting wind speed and direction with admin commands, the wind will eventually start to change again, so you may see me re-entering the commands to ensure that the wind stays constant. And the sloop has crossed the finish line 36 seconds after it entered the course. Now let's test the sloop at 50% weight and see how that affects its speed. Here we are with our sloop at 50% weight. Now let's get it lined up and the wind ready and we'll begin our test. To help ensure the integrity of the test, I'm leaving all ships at level one and refusing to level them up. Hopefully the notification at the top of the screen doesn't get on your nerves too badly. By increasing our sloop's weight from 20% to 50% of maximum capacity, we saw a reduction of speed of over 20%. In this next test, we increased the sloop's weight to 75% and saw a reduction of 30% speed when compared with 50% weight. Current ship weight compared with max ship speed is not a linear relationship. Finally, we tested the sloop with 100% ship weight. The ship is not taking damage from being overweight, it is exactly at its maximum capacity. When at maximum ship weight, a ship either does not move or moves so incredibly slowly that I lacked the patience to see if it could actually get to the starting line, 
let alone the finish line. This shows that without question, there is a point at which a weight sail makes sense. And due to the nonlinear relationship between ship weight and ship speed, the higher amount of weight you intend to carry on your ship, the more it makes sense for you to have a weight sail on your ship. The exact point at which it makes sense to have that weight sail we will determine in a future video. At the beginning of this video, I explained the methodology used to determine that one large sail is better than two medium and that one medium sail is better than two smalls. I want to point out that for those tests, I did ensure that the weight was the same on all of the ships. A medium speed sail weighs twice as much as a small speed sail, which made that very easy. However, I want the extra step of keeping the second crew that was previously manning the extra sail on board so that we can make sure the weight stay the same. In actual practice, you would have no need of that extra crew, making the medium sail even better. This weight saving effect will be even more pronounced when upgrading to large sails, as a large sail weighs 100 compared to 60 of a medium sail, so you're saving 20 kilograms as well as the weight of an extra crewman. While I didn't include the footage in this video, I did test the fastest configuration of each ship not only with 20% weight but also 50% weight. And as you can see in all cases, the ranking of the ships didn't change so far as which one is the fastest or slowest, but it did make a considerable change for each one. One last thing I'd like to mention, which isn't terribly useful but is an interesting piece of trivia, is that the schooner and the galleon are tied for the fastest ship at any given percentage of weight capacity. However, it is technically possible to get the galleon at a much lower percentage weight than the schooner. With just the uppermost deck and six large speed sails, the galleon can be far less than 10% of its maximum weight capacity, whereas the schooner can't even get down to 10%. This means that if your sole purpose was to build a fast ship and resources were no issue, you would just build a galleon with no gun ports, all planks, six sails, a steering wheel, and one deck. As always, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If for no other reason than the next time one of your company mates tries to tell you that two medium sails on a schooner is faster than the large and a small, you can just point them to this video and say, hey buddy, you're wrong. Of course, that probably means that your buddy's going to dislike this video, so if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit like now to offset the future dislike that's going to be coming inbound. I'll be making a couple of more sail videos, one on the weight sail and at what point you should switch from speed to weight, and another on handling sail covering different angles and how effective the handling sail is. If you're interested in those videos, go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss them when they come out, and please leave a comment to let me know how I'm doing. This has been your bottom line up front. That's all for this video, and I'll see you on the high seas.